Um, I, I do feel for the Indian players because when they play for their country, there's an extra um, weight on their shoulders and it certainly feels like it. It looks like it. Um, I don't know if if that's what they actually feel, but it certainly looks like it. Um, you know, and the tours that, you know, Bangladesh, there was a slight change in, in team and so a constant kind of rotation of players, I would only imagine is is quite disruptive. Um, as a player, I enjoyed having a core group of players together. You're working towards a certain style. So I think once, you know, Bangladesh, they probably surprised them a little bit. They didn't play their best cricket and they got found out. And, and there's nothing wrong with that, but they've got to learn from that experience, right? So um, I, I'd like to think moving forward, they make sure that they have their best team on the park and, and that they find ways if they want to give further opportunities, maybe it's in India A Tour or or whatever it may be um, to, to kind of blood those next players. But, you know, I, I don't know what goes on in, in the Indian women's side. I only look from afar and um, they seem to get it get it together whenever they play Australia, but against other teams, they, they, they may falter slightly. The, probably the difference between um, what I've noticed between India cricket and Australian cricket is if there's a change in the Australian squad, there's a media release with the chair of selectors saying the reason why this player is not selected is ABC, or we've decided there's reasons to it here. I, I, I don't know if I've missed a report. No, where no, no, you haven't. You haven't. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess we're all scratching our heads of why is this person in and where is such and such and where is the other player? Whereas I know following Australian cricket, it's easy from a broadcaster because I know who's injured, who's not available, who's taken personal leave, who's everything stipulated nicely so everyone knows where everyone kind of fits. And there seems to be um, there seems to be a process. Or if you don't know, you can ask the chair of selectors, right? <laughs> he, he he normally comes up in front of media right. to answer questions. So um, I can't comment on that because I don't I don't know. No one knows, right? So um, moving forward, maybe what they could do is the the chair of selectors actually, when they announce a side, stipulate reasons why certain contracted players or players that were in the team last year or in the in the squad last tour why they're not been selected and it could simply be it could be a rotation we want to blood as new as many new players that's fine then we or everyone knows right but at the moment we're all like why is this person here why isn't this person there what is she injured is she not so yeah. it's hard hard to follow